Alrighty, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Things did not go as well as they could have last time, but hey, good news is, at least at the stagecoach, there's a Vestral, right? So at least I, ha I can finally get another healer. I regret every single time I saw one of these guys hanging out in town. Sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. Bad news is my roster's full, so I need to upgrade if I want to be able to carry more, but yeah. A, a few people have pointed out at this point that like, at my strategy, the, the way that I play this game generally is is gonna kind of lean on having a healer in the party. What, let's see what this person has. I kind of just blindly bought them regardless of what they have because I can... The good thing about characters in this game is at least you could, if they have anything bad about them, you can fix it. So... Stress faster when you're... Oh. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, stress faster. That sounds like a bad thing to have, but why is it listed as a good thing? They mean stress faster as in... Uses 100% let okay. This per if this person is stressed out, they don't eat, and there's no negative side effect as far as I can tell. So that's good. Uh, ooh, and they love having a lot of sex for stress heals. So that's good. Anything that gives you a stress heal bonus is good. Is good in my book. Uh, looks like oh no, Re negative stress resistance whenever they're, whenever they are in uh, high light, which is what I usually do. That's bad. And when they have low health, they do less damage. That part I don't give a shit about because I don't, I'm not going to do damage with this character, probably. Well, the bad news is I get stressed faster when I have high light. The good news is when that happens, I'll stop eating eat, eating food. So, you know, good and bad happens. Uh, they start off with Mace Bash. Yeah, I'm going to go through and customize this character as a healer real quick because they're definitely going to... They de almost certainly are going to start off with some stuff I don't necessarily want. Yeah. For example, I'm going to want to learn Divine he Grace, for one. But yeah, I need a... I definitely need a backup healer, because Sozni has a bad tendency to go and get freaking syphilis and shit. So, let's fix that. What's going on right now? Where is Sozni? Are you still praying? Can't I just... You're still flagellating? You have, like, no stress left. Just can I, Do I cancel it? You will not be a friend of the cost, but the hero will immediately be available for future quests. Yes. Yeah, I don't need them to keep losing stress. They already have- they were, they were already down to 19. I guess there must be a specific uh, amount of time that it takes to do this process. Anyway, I would love- I'm, I'm gonna definitely train this, uh, Vestral in the future to, uh, have better healing skills and everything. But first, I need to get some money back, so I'm gonna- Hopefully, I can get the A-Team to come out with me and use that group to get some riches again. First, I need to pick a name for this character, though. All right, Vestral has been named arbitrarily from my list. Welcome to the party, Ballot Boxer. All right, so the A team is back in commission. I'm gonna go back to the Warrens once again for a medium cleanse mission. Just do all the battles, and I'm bringing I'm bringing the A team with the hopes being that this will be a successful run where I make money and make it can make a net gain because I'm getting concerned that I don't have a ton of money right now, and if at the rate I'm going right now, it's incredibly p possible that I could start you know, running out of the ability to fund my expeditions, and that could be in some serious deep doo-doo and shit. So, let's try to avoid such a scenario, shall we? Or maybe we won't. I don't fucking know. Do you know? So, shovel, skeleton key. God damn, these ex ex expeditions are expensive, and that's not even a lot of money. That's not even, that's not even a ton of supplies, so I, I just need to... I need some successful runs so I can start having net gains. They breed quickly down there in the dark, but perhaps we can slay them even faster. All right, Main G, good to have you back. You tend to have consistently high performance. At the very least, the leper's good at not dying all the time. That's always a, a good place to start. Oh, and we have a fight. So, oh, and we're surprised. Did I let my light get too low? Nope, it was just, they just got lucky, I guess. They're going straight for my healer, and they failed, because my healer is a, everyone in this party is relatively hard to kill, thankfully. Let's go for that nice AoE, 2-5 to five damage, which is great when they only have that many hit points in the first place. Execute Double kill. More, 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 uh, morale right off the bat. By the way, this guy has 15 bonus accuracy for Maring, uh, 5 dodge, 20% scouting chance. That's just overall. He's already starting off in a good place. Wait till he gets to polish his guns. So, uh, so Lord Bird's gonna have to spend his turn moving forward because he got confused and surprised. I can see how you could be so confused. I mean, it's hard. It sure is difficult to know that you you walk straight a lot. But your goal is to move forward in the forward direction. Blammo! So much for my vestal not doing damage. Speaking of which, 
currently have a mod. I can't check right now. I have the equipment on my Vestral right now that makes it so that, uh, so bonus speed minus crit. I finally found a purpose for the speed stone. I'm like, crit, I don't care about crit. This is my healer, but bonus speed means I can probably heal more often or, or more quickly. And then I'm doing the bonus protection minus damage. So basically stuff that makes them faster and harder to kill, but makes them less effective in combat, which they almost never take part in anyway. So I can go hue, which would destroy it, but have not a low chance of hitting, or I can do intimidate. Higher chance of hitting. As obliterate. The falls, a faint hope blossoms. Exodia obliterates. The sack is empty. Could that could have been worse, I suppose. So I'm hearing that there's things in this game that I don't know about, and this is a bad time to bring this up because I haven't actually researched it yet, but I'll have to later. Uh, I know some stuff like I, I heard that if you take, if you use certain things on an alchemy station, for example, you can get a good effect. But if you just sit there and interact with it, and that's it, you can get a bad effect. So that kind of stuff happens. Ooh, looks like we we explode. We just got scouted for like the next couple of rooms, and there's no apparent fight. There could still be surprise traps. In fact, I think this, that's one trap I can see right there. We'll also get some items potentially. Please don't be a nasty. Uh oh. Why? Why? Ver, no! You scum. I need to fix you being a klepto. This is one of those many many traits I'd love to fix one day. It's just the freaking. I need money. <laughs> Fixing all of your, uh, they definitely, oh, I, f I forgot to heal. Uh, don't surprise me? Okay, good. Still, I could have surprised them, potentially, so that was my bad. I, f I messed up. It's my mistake. So I can do two to five to both these guys with an AoE, which isn't super impressive. Or I can do open vein, four to nine plus bleed. His bleed resist is 25, so it'd probably work. Or I can do three to eight with just a shot, which is... Less impressive. Oh, but it has a high crit chance. So crit mod of 10 means the crit chance is 18%. Dear lord, if this crits... Nope. Instead, it's embarrassing and kind of a waste of time. My bad. Okay, so... I could go for, if I go for the stunning blow, I can take the big scary guy out of the fight for a bit. It's probably the best approach, because... Yeah, he's the only guy I can attack. I can only attack the front two, and he's taking on both those slots. So if I'm lucky, I can go for the stun. I have a 100% chance of, uh, stun, but he has 50 resist. Maybe? Oh, success. Way to go. When they have a 50% chance of, of it working, I have a less than 50% chance of it, of it working overall, because that means that, because I still have to deal with the fact that I can miss. So I can still stun too, but, oh, he takes about both front slots, so that's not really a thing, no. But at least I can... Let's do judgment. I could, uh, I could do a party heal to maintain, but at this point... Not much has happened yet. Oh, I guess that was a waste. I guess maybe I should just stick to healing. Uh, so I, I can do an Intimidate to knock this guy back, which could be fun. 80% chance of hitting, so at the very least the damage will happen. Oh! And that's why we pay you the big bucks. No one tell them I'm not paying them, as far as I know, anyway. Although, Lord Verdback, there's a Klepto, so he's, I'm technically paying him on accident. Dirty fucking thief. If I go for the grape shot, I could kill this guy while also attacking someone else. So that's going to be my goal. Success. A victory. God, this Perhaps party is so good. Point. I should just, I should just get rid of every other character and just have all, of, just these four classes repeating like three times, and that's my entire roster. I'm just it, this this group works so well for me, and every other composition doesn't quite work for me. It is tough. You you definitely get a an A group and then a oh I guess we have to deal with these guys group. <laughs> And it, it's hard to come up with party compositions that work for you on the fly when you're mixing up your parties like that. So this will probably there's a good chance this will miss, but if it doesn't, it can really end this fight. Confidence Which it almost did. Wow. Crumbles. All of the rolls are coming up in my favor. So, if I go for, stunning blows the best chance of hitting. It'll probably kill. Press Success. Give them no quarter. So, ooh, okay, I've got a key. We got food. We got a bunch of money. Yes, I absolutely will. So, my understanding is that I can... Let's select the, the knackle just in case. My understanding is that I can use a key. By the way, for the longest time, I, it said, drag an item here to use it on, on, on an ob this object. Like, optionally. Uh, I, mis I mistakenly thought it meant, like, physically drag an item here. Like, go somewhere else in the level pick, and, like, grab it and drag it there. Was, like, my first interpretation. It literally just means drag it from the inventory. Like this. A key. 
I finally did it. It unlocks a hidden Wealth compartment. Beyond measure. Ooh, portraits. To the brave and the foolhardy alike. Crest portraits and deeds. We always have crests, so that's not a big deal, but portraits and deeds are the, like the primary things I need to upgrade the the things I really want more of because I want to be able to get more I, is, is it was it the blacksmith or the guild? I think it's the guild. I want to be able to upgrade my skills better. So good news all around, although my inventory is filling up and that's less good news. But you know, the good with the bad is what I say. I've never said that before, probably will never say it again. So I don't know why I said that. Come on, sack. Give me yes, contains loot. Finding the stuff is only the first test. These are continuing well, to be good be things. Home. Let's tell the trap guy to try to take care of this. Please? Good job. Look, see, this party's fucking great. If there wasn't for stress problems, I could do bring them all along. It's just too bad they don't have great stress management skills. It'd be great to have uh, someone like, uh, let's see, Pile of Bones. What if I take holy water to the bones? Pile is purified. Crest? Jade. There we go. I just made that up. I didn't even know that. I heard someone say, you could put a thing on the alchemy table and it would give you a special effect. And then I just realized, <gasps> if I put, if I, like holy water in a pile of bones, that seems like it would be good. I've done, I've played D&D &D before. Turns out it was good, so nailed it. Uh, so our goal is to do every room battle. If I go south, I'll immediately be in a fight and it looks like I'll be on my, wait, oh, there's a, that looks like a reward room. What's the best route around here? I think the best route's probably gonna be- Wow, I, I, expo I explored all over the place. It's good to have, uh... It's good to have my highwaymen around for all the crazy map exploration. I think I'm gonna want to go south, all the way to the bottom, then go right, then go all the way to the left, and then go up all the way to the top. That seems to be the least redundant path I can take. Alright. So far so good on this mission? No one's really doing poorly either. I definitely need to heal more. No more trying to hurt people with my Vestral. That's a waste. I need to use every chin because healing is so slow in this game, especially not upgraded like it is right now. Oh, do I do I gamble it? Do I gamble it? Not a good chance of hitting, but if it hits, the fight is over immediately. Well, I mean, I said it was, I said that was probably gonna happen. <laughs> Would have been so cool though. Shooting fools in the face because they're fools that get shot in the face. Speaking of AOE, the power of having three people that all have AOE that hits the front too is that. But when you fight two dudes, the they list. fucked! Alright. More st more stuff to rummage through. Nah, Lord Verd. You scamp. Better than trap. Well, at least he's... At least he's... You're, you're lucky that you're really capable and someone I like keeping around, because you're a dick. But at that, that time, you didn't even take anything. And earlier, you only took like $100, so I guess it's not that big of a... Oh my god, they're disgusting. Amnesia, a machine for pigs. A swine slasher. I recognize the other ones. I don't actually recognize the, slines, the swine slasher. That could be new, or I could have a terrible memory. Those are equally likely. Uh, so I have a pretty high chance of hitting all of them for two to five, which is good damage for most of them. Or I could aim for bonus. That bonus crit could be handy because this fight might be a bit longer. I'm gonna go for it. Let's start warming up. They're gonna. Oh no! Don't give me syphilis again. He crit me and gave me 13. Oh no! I'm stressing, man. I'm stressing. We might need to camp so I can stress harder. Okay, so my hit chance is terrible. I'm gonna have to self. I'm gonna have to do some self buff here. Oh, stress heal and protection. Hell yeah. I'll do the. That if I'm gonna tank, that's probably the best thing to do. Is just keep trying to fix my hit, my stress problem. Oh no! I got lockjaw. So that's the downside of exploring this type of regions that you slowly give yourself. Oh no! Accuracy and damage. Those are like the whole reason he exists. It reduced accuracy and damage. Like, why do I even have Knackle around anymore? Uh, I could do a Stunning Blow, which would remove someone from the fight. Not good. He has good resist. He doesn't have good resist. Go for it. Please? Hell, that did so much damage. He's practically dead already anyway. Ball and chain. That seems to be the downside of coming to this region, is that you have to risk... You have to consistently risk the concept of uh, getting new status alignments. Party heal. Not very good party heal, but you know. That's what I need to upgrade. Once, once I have money. <laughs> money with which to upgrade. That'll be great. To heal for more than one to two. <laughs> Careful, guys. Okay. There. So far, rolls are in my favor. And I, I gave myself bonus accuracy and crit. So now, this has a 6% chance to crit. And is pretty much guaranteed to hit. I like those odds. In particular, I want to try to cut this, this wretch out. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot this turn. The question is, should I AoE or should I just... I should, I should just single target to get him out of here, probably. 
three to seven versus three to eight. I like the three to eight better. There we go. He's down. One less opponent. One less opponent in the fight means overall less uh, damage coming at me per turn, which I see as a good one. So, all right, these guys are not unholy, are they? I keep forgetting that because they cert they certainly seem like unholy abominations, but they're actually human beasts. I question their definition, but I'll take it. So st I have a terrible hit chance of hitting, but so much damage if I do. Well, I hit one of them. Unfortunately, the one that I didn't hit it was the one that would have died. Keep that, keep them heals going. All right. What are we doing? Over uh, let's go. If I can AOE, this guy should die. Overall, good things will happen for me. Oh, he's alive! You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! You're just hanging in there. The last possible minute. Well, just die and give everyone your fucking inheritance already. No one even likes you. They just want it. They just want all your shit. There we go. See. That's what getting stubborn gets you. Three more seconds of life. So continuing the heals, and that guy's horrifying, by the way. He looks like he's got some sort of horrifying, like, saw contraption on his head. I'm just gonna go... Let's just continue with my low chance of hitting again. That'll be fun. Oh god, it's over. Good job, Lepper. This expedition <laughs> at least promises success. It's, a t it's always a toss-up. Like, do I waste a turn... Do I spend an extra turn uh, trying to increase his hit chance, or do, I, or do I just keep swinging and see what happens? I'm gonna send my- oops, accidentally right click. I'm gonna send my Vestral here because they have the least stress in case something bad happens here. Uh, used for ancient barbaric rituals. I don't think I have anything to put on it to potentially do something cool. Can I be like, here look, it's a torch. I don't know. Should I try? That item has no effect. Okay. Well, I just threw away a torch, so that was cool. Egomania quirk removed. <gasps> we just got a good thing to happen. I don't even care that I accidentally threw away a torch. That was that was a great thing. I just got rid of a dumb negative quirk. What the? What is this nightmare? I forgot what this thing's called. Uh, rack of blades. Dull rusty knives. They're covered in fresh blood. This is a great way to get diseases and stuff. Let's touch it. Oh, supplies. I got food from that. That's disgusting. That is gross. You should not get food from those. By the way, I, I just realized I kept saying, I wish they'd show me a number, but I realized there's notches on the on the light meter, so when it goes past the most the outermost uh, spot, that's when uh, I'm below 75 and want to use it again. I definitely want to be above 75 every time I go through a door because I don't want to have I don't want to have enemies surprising me. Ooh. We have treasure over there, and we don't have to go past one trap? Of course I'll go for it. I ain't as scared, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Come on, trap. Success. Now let's go get some cool stuff. A torch. I love torches. What, what happens if you mash it? Oh, you, you can't interact with it, never mind. There's no interact screen, you just, you just use it, and then you're like, you got a torch, congrats. That's it, that's the end. I was thinking for a second, they're like, what if I put a torch on it, like, to light it? Does that increase the light of the entire area or something? More torches! I mean, that's... I'll take torches, they're not bad. It'll salvage the amount of torches I'm using here, at least, on the way in, but... It'd be better to have actual treasure, which will probably be in here! Hello! Hi, horrifying spider monsters! If you were in my room, you'd get the vacuum. That's what I do to all spiders. Because fuck spiders. Blowing, blowing peeps up! Seriously, there's a scene from a, a movie where that takes place on Mars, where, like... Uh, some creatures get, uh, let's see, I can AOE these guys, please, maybe hit, oh, actually, no, let's do stress heal, let's focus on just keeping my stress down, because it's getting problematic, there's a movie on Mars where a guy gets stuck into a, sucked into a tornado, and then all of his limbs fly off, all at once, because he's spinning around, I just imagine that's what happens when you vacuum a spider, and that gives me pride, because I hate spiders, so I vacuum the shit out of them and hope they explode in there, fuck spiders. The truth is, spiders are really hardy little fuckers, so if you uh, do that to them, they probably just crawl back out afterwards like, well, that, that made me a little busy, and then they move on like nothing happened. Die? There we go. Those spiders aren't moving on. Those spiders are bleeding all over the place, little shits. All right, I'm gonna go for... I should probably single target the front, heal the front guy a bit, because he's losing some hit points, and he's the most prone to taking hits, especially if he's about to... Yeah, he's, he's taking poison damage too, so... Ta-da! There we go. That single heal. Effective. Such a terrible assault That's adorable. You crit me for- Oh god. He's abusive. 
No. I was trying to stress heal, but even then, he still got more stress faster than I could deal with it. Does he have a bonus stress situ- Oh, it's the right. Less, less res resistance against beasts. I've known that in the past, but I forget about it occasionally. Alright, so I can do 2 to 4 damage to an individual, or 3 to 8. Or I mean, 2 to, two to 4 damage each, or 3 to 8 to an individual. I'm gonna go for the 3 to 8, because I can wipe someone out. Like that. AoEs are nice, but the other the other methods completely remove the uh, fight. So if he's abusive, is he going to... I really hope he doesn't start rejecting heals, because he's he should get healed still. I'm gonna go for the Highwayman now, though, because he's the lowest meter on the screen. Although now that guy's taking damage, so that happens. Uh, maybe if I do a stress heal, he'll feel better? Oops, wrong spot. Come on. There we go. I think if you get it low enough, you can actually get the status alignment to go away midway through the level. It's just relatively hard to reduce your stress that much, but we'll find out. Anyway, this is all straightforward, so now it's just a matter of hitting things and occasionally healing myself. He's out of there. As Let's see. Victories mount, so too will resistance. Last time we got lucky and a trait got removed. Maybe Main G could get a little better if I use this. Or maybe he'll like literally die on the spot. I don't fucking know, man. Let's try it. Oh no, he's deeply disturbed. That made him back to being stressed. That Well, the good news is it doesn't fucking matter at least <laughs> cuz he's already he's already abusive, so like he's not going to get that much worse from a little bit of stress happening. Let's see. I can see that torch getting low. I see it. I'm watching you. March like you know what you're doing, idiots. Yep, there's that abusiveness. That's why no one likes you, Manji. Also, you're a leper. Leprosy also makes people not like you, as it turns out. In fact, it's the metaphorical reference for when people avoid you. It's just like you have, le like, leprosy or something. You literally have lep- Ow. You literally have leprosy. Oh no, he's bleeding. His trap resist is high, right? Yeah, 40%. So that was just unlucky. Uh, I, I don't know what the- ch I don't know what his success chance of, uh, successful chances of, uh, winning when you use one or not, though. So this suggests you can drag something here. What happens if you drag something to a stack of books? What if I burn it? Oh no! Oh no! He's hella stressed! Courageous! Okay, that's good. A moment of valor we'll ride to hell if he'd be. Brightest against the backdrop of despair. Well, at least that worked out, I guess. He's courageous, so bonus dodge and speed it looks like or something? Still, what happened there? I didn't get to read the text and... A problem with this game is that all, all, none of the text let, says you you never you never press a button to proceed. It always just does its text and then it's gone. So I didn't get to read what it said. Did I have like a? Did, I, don't, I didn't get to read what happened when I used the torch on it. But I just I was like, well, if we're looking for special effects of stuff, well, that's just made of paper. You know what paper? Do? Oh no, I double. Is the path is clear. I accidentally we double clicked. Only the strength to follow it. Son of a bitch. Well, we're pretty much. We're getting close to finishing here, so I guess I'll camp in this next room. Just because camping's fr like, it's free, basically. If it's there, you might as well use it, I guess. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Alright, go ahead and do stress heal. There we go. Not gonna use that food for anything else. So, out of this party. Let's see, less likely to be surprised. Clean guns. Definitely clean guns, because that buff is freaking cool. No one needs a health... Oops. No one really needs a hit point heal, so now it's mostly just about, like, what kind of cool... How do I re reduce stress, and how do I get to do cool things? I can single target reduce stress on somebody. This person can single target reduce stress. Ooh, bonus accuracy and dodge. Hell yeah, let's do bonus accuracy. Is it only cost two? Yeah. Bonus accuracy on do and dodge on our lead guy. Oh no, did he reject it? Oh no. That's annoying. Can I can I can I encourage him or is he gonna reject that too? Okay. It didn't work 100 percent but it worked better than it could have, I guess. That's that sucks that they you so when someone's unreasonable like this, they will uh reject your whole thing. Let's see, can this guy do anything? I can increase I can heal but increase stress, or I can ooh. Reduce stress by 25, but increase it for everyone else. I'm going for it. This guy needs to fix himself a bit. There we go. Making him a bit better. How's this guy doing hit points? He doesn't need wound care necessarily. 
So I'm gonna go for encouraging this guy. Please take it. Yes. All right, he's getting nice and low. He's like at half, halfway now. And I can give myself stress resist. That might be the way to go. Oh, uh, more likely to surprise monsters. That sounds like fun. I have so many cool abilities. It's just too bad that one of my attempts to reduce stress didn't work out. But oh, that's fine. Oh wait, no, it was my. I was trying to buff him. Is what was happening. So he does. He is still abusive, but at the very least his stress is low. So now. Possibly when we finish this mission, he'll at least be better off. This place is horrific. Even I so tense. Uh, if we work together, we can overcome this evil. The match is struck. Did we get attacked? A blazing star is born. We did not get attacked this time. All right, into, into the next room. Three rooms to go. Yeah, medium place is not very difficult for this. Uh, a medium length place is not tough for this group. Let's go ahead and let Lord Verd do some reading, maybe, please. No, no, it's unsettling. 25, wow. Lord Verd, you need to learn with the different you need to learn that books can't hurt you. Except that one apparently. I mean, I guess the book the type of books that spellcasters use might hurt you. Let's see, I can AoE, that'd be fun. Three to six to the whole party, that's a lot of damage. Going for it. I guess I might have it might have been a good idea to camp earlier, because then characters like uh like Nackelson and Nackle would have had a certain abilities the whole dungeon. Because having having those bonus stats does not hurt, so getting doing that stuff earlier on, since the effect persists until you camp again, means that they would be persistent like the whole time. Keep healing Nackle because he's the lowest hit, lowest health bar. It might be more effective to single target heal than to group heal, because the group heal is not very strong. It's only one to two, and in my luck, it seems to always just be the one. Unfortunately, might be able to one shot both these guys. I mean, well, I mean, finish them. Success. Now this this poor ranged guy is all alone, and he's in the front line, so like he Death can't even. Ow! The slightest lapse in concentration. Wow, he got two shots. Does rush does rush shot give him like a speed advantage? Hey, Nackerson and Nackles, uh Was he courageous or something? What is his effect? What is his effect? I can't find it. Whatever. Whatever, whatever cool is going on with him, it led to him doing uh, a stress heal in the party. Even the stubborn guy that's like impossible to stress heal. Although he's still doing worse than he was earlier, but that's probably because he got crit a second ago. Assholes. I'm gonna continue to try to stress heal. If I'm lucky, I can get a stress low enough that we don't even have to... Uh, we don't even have to pay to recover him at all. I don't think I have any stress heal on this character, do I? No. I just have a stun that could potentially... Uh, I just have a stun that can give me more torch, basically. I'm gonna heal uh, Lord Verd next. Maximum heal, perfect. I definitely benefit from having a healer in the party. Let's wreck this dude. Oh, that's not a good ch hit chance. Oh, that, that was a better hit chance, but still failed. It is funny that I so consistently use stunning attacks instead of damaging attacks, even when I'm not trying to stun, just because I have a higher chance of hitting. And sometimes I just want- I don't want the hit to happen. There are better ways to fill a teacup than- Ah, motherfucker. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. This game doesn't have any options, does it? For that kind of stuff? No? I would not mind having... Uh... Oh, extra bark time. There we go. Save. I assume bark time is how long people talk for their text bubbles go up. So, if that if that's what th that means, then that's good. Because I was I'm having trouble freaking reading it in time. Because it just disappears so quickly. March like you know what you're doing, idiots. Yeah, that, that seems like it probably was like two seconds longer. All right, go figure. I was like, there should be a setting for this, and I go check the options. There's totally a setting for this. I'm an idiot. And they're geniuses. Go de developers. So I can continue across and potentially fight something, or I can just keep going north and work on finishing. I think I'm gonna go for finishing. I don't like the idea of going through redundant hallways to rooms I've already been to before, just because there might be something in the hallway. And I only have four torches left, so it's definitely a waste. I might want to start using my plus light ability on my Vestral, just to deal with the fact that I'm running out of light. Do I have any, do I have any holy water? If you adults move any slower, moss will grow on us. I don't have any holy water. Vestral has low stre low, uh, low stress, though, so that might help. Loot! Yeah! Anti-venom. 
For all that venom that I'm not currently being suffering. That's fine though. Use a torch and move on inside. Second to last room. Possibly the last room battle, who knows, but I'll, I'll continue to the last room anyway. Nope, nothing happened in here. Alright, moving forward. Last. This is the final stretch. Please don't steal anything, Lord Verd. Alright, Lord Verd did not get to it before me. Moving anything in this hallway. It might, might, oh. Why am I down here with useless children? I can't move. Oh, we're hungry. That's fine. Eat up, everybody. A little bit of health, a little bit of healing. That's fine. Freaking Lord Ver Main G has some personality quirks he needs to work out. But that's fine. We can help them there in the sanitarium when we lock them lock up forever. March like you know what you're doing, idiots. Okay, maybe I don't need the barking to last longer because they don't- they just they just repeat themselves, apparently. There- hey! There's a Knackles and a Knackles bonus to surprise chance. They're all surprised, which I believe means we all get to go first. So they screwed. Let's go for a stun, probably. Ple oh my god. Why do my Crusaders have such high crit chances? Like, mathematically they don't have high crit chances, but statistically, from observation, they have really good crit chances. I'm gonna go for, as the lead guy, just gonna keep uh, stress healing and protecting myself. Try to reduce, if I can do it enough, I won't have to deal with, uh, if I can stress heal that guy enough, I won't have to bother with uh, recovering stress between fights, which would be good. Because that cost me fucking money, and I'm very aware of how much money I'm spending on that stuff right now. Uh, three to six damage for two guys versus three to eight damage against one dude plus bleed versus four to nine damage. Four to nine, but these, these bad guys have fewer hit points, so it'd be handy. Just maybe try to wipe out this uh, ranged guy. Crit, nope, no crit. No crit, but half his health is gone. <laughs> With training, you might prove competent. All right, so I may want to decrease the bark time because it, de it definitely pauses the game. I, I'm distracted by all of the times where I want to read the, the bark, but sometimes I just don't give a shit. And, uh, even if you don't give a shit, those ones, they could last a long time. So, he's continuing to reduce, er, increase everyone else's stress. So, let's try to... Maybe if I get his stress low enough, he'll just stop being a dick, maybe? He's below 50. Not, that's not a bad place, right? Let's see. Uh, I'll do the... Should I do the group heal this time, or just attack somebody? I should probably go after somebody. Because if I attack, I can, yeah, I can stun. No one really has, is down enough hit points for it to matter right now. And there's nothing after this fight, so this is pretty much it. So it's all about just nailing some dudes. He's stunned, so best chance is just to hit him really hard, right? Oh, if I'm super lucky, I could kill him. Wow, I was one off from being exactly how lucky I was talking about. All right. Main G, why? I'll resist it. Well, congratulations on your one damage, asshole. Alright. I could... Oh yeah, let's go for... Continue the pistol shots, because I can finally kill the guy in the back. Oh my god. That would have killed him from the get-go. Kind of undoes the effects of my last two shots I worked on him with. If the... I uh, meant get to take him all at once. Right where it hurts! Wow. Apparently, Nacos and Nacos is very prone to... He's, he's not very resilient to criticism. Do a group heal, because everyone... Nah. No, more, no reason for group heal, just because someone's slightly down, because we're not preparing for future fights. So I might as well just wipe this, this maybe work on the back guy, because it'll do more damage. Or work on the front guy just to finish, yeah, let's just finish this dude. Bye. The bigger the beast, the Welcome to the, the front, glory. Mr. Cutthroat. Can I take your order? I continue that stress heal? Come on, main G. Rejoin the land of the people that aren't fucking assholes. Wouldn't that be great? Be friendly with us. We miss you. We want our daddy back, or whatever the fuck from those, like, those, uh, intervention episodes. Oh! Decimated. Max hits points to zero hit points in one hit. I am A-OK -okay with that. I got so many crests. I'm not even going for crests. I'm tr I, I came here... I came here explicitly for portraits. I only found one in the whole place, although I'm gonna get rewarded for more. Alright, let's see what I can find here. Maybe the Vestal will go for it. Oddly assembled dining table. There might be food scraps around. What if I use anti-venom on it because it could be poisoned food? The item has no effect. Ah, well I wasted it then. Oh well. Let's just look at it. Oh no, rotting food made me ill. What if I use- well, I used anti-venom. What do you want from me? Oh well. 
I guess anti-venom doesn't help you with rotting food. It's just poisoned food from venom. Either way, dungeon's over, so it doesn't matter. Even if it did give him maybe a slight bit of stress. Party's doing okay. Oh, wow. I got Mangy down to the point where he's actually tied with a uh, Knackle. Although, to be fair, Mangy was constantly increasing Knackle's stress. So, they kind of met in the middle, unfortunately. But still, everyone has less than half. Some of them might even have less than they started with in this fight. So, that game. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. So I got three more portraits as a reward and four crests. Uh, 4,500 reward plus 5,200 in uh, loot along the way means... Ooh. So I got a total of four portraits. I got 16 crests because they just rain that stuff from the heavens on you. And I got four deeds at random just from loot. And I got this, this charm. 1% crit, 4% accuracy. Or minus four accuracy. I don't think I'll ever use that. I don't know why... Crit is nice, but minus four accuracy is just, like, that just sucks. Accuracy is kind of important. Hey, Main G and Knackle are both level three. Awesome. And Sozni and Lord Verd are on their way. Knackle's new trait is bad. Lygophobia. Low stress at low light. Good thing I don't usually have low light. And, hey, a good thing. Clutch hitter. Low health, bonus crit. Unfortunately, it's on the healer, so who gives a fuck? Still... Just across the board, things have gone could have gone much worse. I'm happy with how I was turned lord out. of this place before the crows and rats made it their domain. So, Knackle and Manger level 3. Uh, boss monster recovered 55 stress and he's now down to uh, low enough anyway. I can't really highlight it from here. And oh my god, uh, Lucas is a seems to be a fan of the whorehouse because he's he lost 81 stress and is down to Basically nothing. What are you at now? You are down to... 11 stress. Boss monster's down to 28. All in all, a good position to be in. Let's take a look at the guild. Can I get any good up... Nope. Up. Oh, I can increase my... I can, reduce, I can reduce cost, but I can't increase the number of ranks I can get. But I do have enough for the cost. I believe the blacksmith is where I use deeds. I might not have enough for that. Nah, I can't do shit at the blacksmith, unfortunately. I need 19 deeds to be able to increase my weapon and armor smithing. Alright, thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time. And we'll figure out what to do next. Probably involves sending Main G somewhere to be a less shitty person because he's in a bad mood. Poor Main G. Is it because he played the Talos Principle eight times? Did he finally, finally get to him? Is that, is that what happened? <laughs>